Picture an old-time jukebox, silent, just waiting. You put in a quarter, then hit play. Well, I've been doing this for about more than a month. Not unlike asking a question of Aiden Knaus. You just said the summer I always sit home, I, you know, and I'll, I'll hang out with my friends a lot. Aiden is 13 and an eighth grader at Sartell Middle School. Awesome. But these aren't the school halls he's walking while talking. My mom works here. Rather, the St. Cloud VA Medical Center. Pretty much me, I talk. Where Aiden we go. is not one. We are good. To just talk the talk. I walk like 10 miles a day. As a VA volunteer it's, escort. It's a bit cloudy and I think it's going to start raining soon actually. Aiden's gift. It's always get pretty warm. Has not gone unnoticed. In all the years, and I've been here at the VA for 10 years plus, I've never came across a student like you. I always try to make them feel good, you know. I don't want to just, why don't just push them and just be quiet. Navy vet Mary Klazowski it's pretty cool. also shares these halls. I was born and raised on a farm. As a BA housekeeper. Yeah, same thing as my grandma and grandpa. Everybody, they, they want Aiden, but ne Aiden's never Aiden's available. Because everybody wants them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> One day after turning 13. We'll take you to the handicap door. First time he was old enough to volunteer. Yeah. Aiden started bringing vets to therapy, the canteen, okay. and chapel. Have a nice day, sir. And then they started bringing him something. I just like to talk. Unexpected. I didn't know that he could thrive in something like this, and that's what I think he's doing. He's thriving. Tanya Hundeby is Aiden's mom. School's been hard for him. School often is. I do everything fast. <laughs> for kids diagnosed with memory lapses, attention deficit, and high-functioning autism. I couldn't really talk when I was little. I couldn't talk till I was three years old. I worried a lot. Tanya started teaching her son sign language, unsure he would ever talk. It's kind of hard to get a good spot to sit on these chairs. But as the other volunteers can attest, I didn't think you were actually 80. Silence is no longer an Aiden uh, issue. I just did not think well, that. that's nice to hear. <laughs> Because he can talk. Did you play any sports when you were a kid? He loves meeting new people and having conversations. Oh, really? Learning about people's lives. Well, what, what'd you do in the Air Force? And as Aiden has talked with vets like World War II Airman Donald Zitter, he's also learned. Oh. I was a gunner. Some words are best left. You don't want to remember that stuff. Unspoken. You give it to yourself. It's, you don't want to talk about it. It's totally fine. He's very special to me. After and, uh, 16 days in rehab with a broken hip. It blew me away. Navy vet really? Jay LaCrosse is finally back driving his work truck. Trust me. Yet still <laughs> thinking about the day. I got skills. He noticed Aiden right. pushing him more slowly. And that's when I said, Aiden, uh, did you get in a little fender bender? And he said, no, no. He said, I just realized if I went slower that you and I would have more time to talk. And that was the first time that, you know, he just, you know, it, it just, it hit me so hard, you know, how special this kid was. We're all set up now. And as for that mom. Take it straight to KT. Who used to worry. He's perfect, just the way he is. Very proud of him. <laughs> My grandma's the manager. We've all been told that talk is cheap. Yeah. But for those who served our country. Right over here. <laughs> Aiden Knauss. He's a third signal. Delivers. Oh, you want to go outside? Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, St. Cloud. Oh, yeah, we'll go outside.